I hate what people like your client stand for. We're going to prove once and for all that God is dead. You're passionate about what you believe. I mean, let's face it, it's why you're in trouble in the first place. A student asked a question about remarks allegedly made by Jesus, and your answer incorporated scripture itself. Yes. What were you thinking, Grace? I gave an honest answer to a student's legitimate question. I am not going to be afraid to say the name Jesus. They're asking that you be fired plus revocation of your teaching certificate. You're on your own. So what's the good news? I don't like to lose. They've been dreaming of a case like this. They want to make an example of you. Her true motivation was to take an innocent question and turn it into an opportunity to preach. The message of the gospel has us standing in the way of a lot of things that powerful people want. We're at war. I'm not in the matter of Thorley versus Wesley. Mr. Kane will insist faith isn't on trial here, but that is exactly what is on trial. If we grant Miss Wesley the right to violate the law, then our society will crumble. The four Gospels contain the actual words of Jesus. You're looking to prove Jesus Christ existed? That's ridiculous. If we're going to insist that a Christian's right to believe is subordinate to all other rights, then it's not a right. Somebody is always going to be offended. A decision. I would rather stand with God and be judged by the world than stand with the world and be judged by God. God's not dead, he's surely alive. He's... God bless you. Careful, or you might end up on trial. He's living.